Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. We have last exercise uh, number 6 for chapter number 15 how to edit pressure network using profile layout tools. Before in the previous exercise number 5 we have practice for plan layout tools and now we are going with profile layout tools. As uh, we have noticed, uh, there is also profile layout tools command with editing uh, pipe networks. Uh, the editing tools available for pressure network in profile view are a bit more numerous when compared to gravity networks. For example, uh, with pressure networks, you can add new pipes and fittings, extend pipes and form several other functions that are not possible with gravity pipes. When you click the profile layout tools command, the pressure network profile layout ribbon tab open. It provides many useful editing commands that are carried out in profile view. We will practice all of them. Before starting, if you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe Civil 3D Pro Designer for complete basic to advanced course of civil 3d and you can also uh, like my facebook page civil 3d pro designer where you can get many more material related to civil 3d and land surveying before starting this exercise you need to download drawing name editing pressure network using profile layout tools you can get this drawing from the description link. In this exercise, we will use the profile layout tools to design the portion of chosen coat water line uh, that connects to the existing water main and we will add vertical bands as well as walls. When you will open your drawing, you can you will get three view ports now click the new pipes which we have created in the previous exercise from H to F2 and also your fitting T at circle F2. Then click draw parts in profile on the ribbon and click one of the grid line in the Jordan code profile view here and you will get your part in profile view. The new pipe and fitting now drawn in the profile view. You can notice the T connection and the short pipe stub located down from uh, these two. They are located down from and to the left of the new pipe. This is the location where the new water line will connect to the existing water line. So our task is to connect this pipe with this T and another pipe connection. With one of the pipe are fitting which is already selected. Now select editing network and you can get profile layout tools on ribbon so you have commands for profile views now next to add bands here select 150 millimeter elbow for 45 degree and then click add band in the upper uh, sorry in the upper right uh, viewport here we have profile place your cursor near the right end of the short pipe segment located just below the red circle uh, you can see when the clips appear uh, you can click counterclockwise on the command line you can see we have a band here 
now just verify that uh, you have 150 mm duct tile iron is selected at the current add pressure pipe size and then click add pressure pipe when prompt for the part at the start of the range here in the command line click the newly created elbow we already created this pen elbow and you can click to it when prompt for uh, the end of the range then click the pipe to the right of the red circle this pipe and yes when press yes when asked if you want to continue yes i want to continue and then click the newly created elbow then snap to the red circle located above the new band if you can't select your uh, red circle center press shift and then right click to select the center you will get center and then click now above click add band then click the end of the newly created pipe here making sure the proper clips is displayed as previously and you can click now it as clockwise on the command line to invoke the clockwise option another 45 degree band is created you can see now click the pipe just to the right of the newly created band here this pipe click the upper right triangle grip here at the left end of the pipe and drag it toward the new band you can click here to connect these pipes so we don't need this part for now we can delete and you can also look at them in the 3d view ports on the ribbon click break pipe and you will select this command go to the upper right view port and just click here it will break your pipe from here and now select delete part i am going to delete this pipe so it's not work just go to the back and then just wait Okay, sorry for delay. Now select break pipe and just click here, and then go to delete pipe. Sorry, it's not working actually. I'm 
I want to break pipe from here. Okay, now it's work. And then go to delete pipe, delete part, and you can delete this part for now. Then select this part and upper right diamond grip select and pull that into new created band you can see we have complete uh, our pipe network now press escape to create the selection and then select pipe long pipe which you have here go to profile layout tools and then here you will see follow surface here you can see we have much cover for this pipe from FG or EG surface so I just want to follow my surface with this pipe so you can select this command follow surface and then it will ask for select next pressure pipe in the profile view then you can select again this pipe and press enter it will ask for the cover you can put 1.5 meter and you will see your pipe will follow the surface accordingly so you have many more commands which you can make practice with them i have practice and i have show you some of them i am leaving another to you hope you like this video if you are looking for complete civil 3d basic to advanced knowledge then you can subscribe my channel civil